All right, you guys, so I was kind of messing around today, kind of learning a little bit about doing some head polishing work and, you know, port and polish type stuff, trying to port match all of my gaskets and all that stuff. So um, I thought I'd show you guys kind of a little bit of what uh, I learned from another guy. Let me get some parts here. Yep. So it's going to start off with, you're going to need a few tools. Uh, we'll start off with this one here, it's straight from Harbor Freight. And it's one of those things where once it burns up, you're never going to see it again. So it doesn't matter where you get them from. Uh, item number 62394. Uh, start with one of those. Uh, something, a little bit of air here. Uh, and then we'll finish up with something like this. And then this is uh, for another little project. I'll show you guys later. But let's get you guys zoomed in. So as you can see, I've already kind of done a little bit of work here uh, across all of these, but I'm realizing I went uh, to start polishing them. And right here, you can kind of see I still have some roughness there towards the middle. And so I'm gonna go and kind of start all over for you guys so that way you guys can see all the steps and uh, we'll get to it. So we're gonna start with the uh, 80 grit here and uh on our tool and we're just gonna go to town pretty much uh i'm not trying to do anything too crazy here uh, i'm not trying to take and make the ports larger or try and port match them you know i'm just taking the roughness out of them and then they should all be uh, as close to factory you know That went pretty quick for me, but I believe the video I was watching the other day said something about 18 hours once you got to this point. And uh, I'd say, yeah, we pretty much are there at 18 hours. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but my buddy just pointed this out to me the other day, something I didn't notice on this head. Um, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. And with the engine it came off of, I'm 90% sure it was running. But uh, he saw that these uh, ports right here in the middle for the water jackets are actually you know washing out towards the actual seal here so uh i'm probably end up sending this head in of course right and getting it resurfaced and all that and they'll have to fill all that in for me we'll see what they decide to do but either way this is a good time to learn if it was a bad head it's perfect time for me to do this so uh, let's keep it going as you guys can probably see i've cleaned them up a little bit more there's still a few little black patches in there that you can see um, but we'll slowly get rid of those and uh, you know the more we go here the cleaner they'll get so Definitely keep going at it until you get everything gone Now what we'll do is we're gonna move over to some of these small little brushes and uh, What they are is different grits. I actually got this one off of Amazon uh, I'm not 100% sure but that should be the part number. I'll throw all the links in the description. What these will do is they'll actually kind of polish it. You'll start to see the gloss start to really come into the metal here. And uh, as you go, it'll continue to get even glossier and glossier. And depending if you're going for a full polish intake or if you're just going to go to the basic level here, uh, that'll be the difference. You can pick up one of these little die grinders pretty much anywhere nowadays. Uh, I believe this one's from uh, Harbor Freight as well. I, I do this one-time job on this one thing and that's the only reason I got it, so.
So let's uh, move on up to the next grid here. Now, you guys don't have to take it this far, you know, but I'm gonna go all the way down to right around 400 grit, and uh, I may even polish it all out. So uh, if you want, you can stop now, but hey, might as well go all the way. We're here, we're doing it. Let's keep it going. pretty good here I'm just trying to get the floors get a little bit of everything Now, let's uh, flip her over, get, go to the top side, and start working our way back up. Show you guys a little close-up action here. Not too bad. All right. All right. At least everywhere I can get to. I mean, there's such a tight area behind that little thing back there, and so couldn't quite get there. So here we are. Not too bad. So now here we are, uh, I'm gonna go and do the same thing I've been doing this whole thing to this uh, top half here. And what I'm trying to do is just, uh, my heart is trying to avoid any of these valve seats. These do seem pretty deep in there, so I'm a little concerned, but like I said, I feel like we're gonna end up taking this head in anyway. So uh, let's get down to business and uh, let's see what we can do. Now, pull out your uh, mini die grinder or Dremel tool and go back to that 120 grit and we'll do it all over again. Now that we've gotten this far, just do a quick inspection, kind of see, uh, you'll really get to see the roughness if there is any left. I, I think we're doing pretty good so far, but 
uh, it really isn't doing you guys any justice by hey, time lapsing this because uh, this has been at least two or three hours on this one section. So keep it up. All right, so I've been having a few issues with this. I found out that I ordered up the wrong size, so something to watch out for, I guess, uh, in these mini die grinders, uh, there are different sizes than the uh, Dremels. Just to kind of show you guys what I was using here, it's actually nothing special, something I picked up off of... Uh, Amazon. It's just a little kit. It's got uh, a bunch of different polishers, different shapes. And uh, so here's one, here's another. Seemed to work pretty well, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and buff this sucker out and see what we got. Another quick inspection here. We're getting pretty good. I mean, this is my first time doing this, so it's kind of cool to see uh, how far you can get. And uh, another thing is, once you start going, then polishing just starts to become addicting. So keep that in mind. Don't polish everything. Now, we're over here with the uh, intake, and I've already done all the same steps I have did on the other, but the difference was I actually port match these to the actual head. So now this will flow a lot better, and hope to get just a few more horsepower out of this little engine, just to have a little more fun with it. Now, remember how I was talking about doing that, uh, using one of these earlier? Usually, you know, cylinder hone or whatever else you're trying to hone out, but what I did is I got this, and since it's a flexible rod, it's able to get down further than I can see a reach or anything else. So uh, pretty clean down in through here. Uh, just trying to help out a little bit, you know, every little bit help makes a big difference. And another thing I did, I came around this side and just kind of cleaned up as much as I could on the inside here. Uh, just kind of getting it down to that smoothness. I'm not trying to make anything crazy massive, just smoother's better. I'm also thinking about doing a lot with this exterior, uh, probably taking off all these extra bumps, clean it up a little bit, maybe even do all the polishing, but uh, that'll be another video because that's gonna be a big project within itself. Uh, probably knock off all these, all this, all that, plug it all up, even this one here, because it's not gonna be a street car, so it's all good. So now you guys all know a little bit more on how to port and polish your own heads. I may do another video on some other stuff in relationship to this, but uh, if you guys got any questions and comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.